Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today, um, I'm gonna start this video off a little bit different. I'm gonna introduce myself. I realized that in none of my videos, I necessarily introduce myself and who I am. So I'm gonna start to do that now in the videos, at least my sit down videos. So my name is Larissa and welcome to our channel. <laughs> um, I tried to look a little bit more presentable in today's video for you guys. And um, it's kind of hot in this, room so my hair is doing its own thing you know I tried <laughs> so today I have the Dollar Tree gift idea and stocking stuffers video Yay! I absolutely love getting stocking stuffers at the Dollar Tree I think around the holidays they just have some of the most incredible things that you can fill a stocking with so today I'm gonna just share with you guys some of the things that I picked up so if you want to see my stocking stuffer and gift ideas from the Dollar Tree, just keep watching. So the first thing I want to show you guys, um, it, because it takes up a lot of space on my little table, my little, well, it's not really a table. I got everything on a chair, but that'll be between us. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to show you are these amazing Dollar Tree fuzzy socks. Let me tell you guys something about the Dollar Tree fuzzy socks, if you ain't already know. Dollar Tree has some of the most amazing fuzzy socks. I don't know if it's because they cost a dollar, so it just makes them even better. But these Dollar Tree fuzzy socks are so cozy and so comfy. You see how glittery and awesome those are? So I got two of those. And I also have... My mom is like an honorary member of the Rosario household. <laughs> She's in our house every Christmas morning. She usually stays over Christmas Eve. And so we have a stocking for her here, of course, because, you know, she just wouldn't let it be any other way and I'm pretty sure she's gonna love these glittery socks so I got those for her and then I got these leopard print ones sorry for the glare you guys which are also super cute um, and then these pink stripe ones these are actually short and there's a couple of little like you see how this one has like the string coming up what is that called string thread thread coming out you can just snip that off don't pull it snip snip it off with scissors and then another short pair the white stripe with the blue so these are also longer just kind of just like the black socks are longer the last two I showed you were like shorter ankle socks and these are also these are longer and so are these two and Dollar Tree I would have bought fuzzy socks for Eddie but he's not really into the fuzzy sock game like me and Kayla are so I didn't even bother to find colors that would be that he would like so these are the last two that I picked up. I picked up one of these bath bombs. I thought that Kayla would really, really enjoy this um, in her stocking. And let me tell you, I got so many stocking stuffers. I tend to buy a ton of stocking stuffers and then later on have to use like a little bag or something to fill the rest of it with because I'm just, I think I'm addicted to buying stocking stuffers if that's like a thing. But you know, a stocking, a Christmas stocking is only but so big and I end up getting all this stuff that I have to try to fill the stocking with and then, yeah, anyway. Moving on, bath bomb. I got this cute bath bomb for Kayla. I thought that she would absolutely love this in her stocking. So Dollar Tree right now, this was the first time that I had ever seen these. They have these little unwrap sweet surprises. And I guess essentially they're these little collectible things and they look like a candy, which I thought was super cute. And on the box, it said, squish me. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that what's in these little things are squishies. Um, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to open one, right? And if you notice, they're different colors. And I think they had a another color, but I'm not too sure. I wonder if the color correlates with the color of the um, little toy that they give. I don't know. Let's open the green one. I don't care. She's going to get it anyway, so I'll probably just, after I open it, still stick it in her stocking. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what this little thingy is. Oh. Ew. It is so squishy. It, look at that. <laughs> that is actually kind of cute. And yes, they are like squishy little 
jelly things. I don't know. Kayla gets a kick out of those. And it looks like, you know, the Shopkins. All the little surprise toys have these little things in them now that I guess show you. But the color on the outside kind of directly correlated with the color of the animal. So I don't know if that goes for the rest of them. But I'm definitely going to let her open that one on Christmas. But I'll give this one back to her. Maybe I'll try to wrap it back up. I think I could do that. I think I could just wrap it back up and give it to her because I didn't pop the string. So maybe we'll do that. These next couple of items, if you guys have any crafty kids, Kayla absolutely loves doing crafts and things like that. So if you have any crafty kids, I think they're really going to enjoy these. Uh, Dollar Tree had a bunch of brand new washi tape out. So I just picked up ones that I think Kayla would enjoy. I grabbed these little polka dot ones with all the different colors. This what is this it says always is the answer always the answer but if you read the tape itself it says where how do you how do i do this so you guys can see it it says love is always the answer Ooh, forgive my nails Ugh, terrible well, anyway and this one that says hello beautiful with the flower Ooh, it's not picking up I hope it picked up, you guys. Sorry. And then these, I thought, Kayla, this was brand new. I had never seen this before at my Dollar Tree. It's these glitter glues. Again, for those crafty kids or kids who love to make slime, Kayla definitely is a slime maker. If you haven't watched any of her Super Slime Sunday videos, I'll have them linked down below. And they had all these cool different colors. Look at how that shines. So pretty. So that you saw the green one, the purple one, and then they have this yellow. I hope that's focusing you guys. And then they had this pink one. And then they had this blue purple. It, it, it looks it's like a blue and a purple mixed together. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain that color right now, but it's super pretty. So again, just something that I thought Kayla would enjoy with making her slime and all her crafts and things like that that she loves to do. It's just super cute and it's brand new. I've never seen this before, at least not at my Dollar Tree. So definitely look into that. And what I thought was maybe I will just, instead of just dumping them in her stocking, um, I will get some Christmas ribbon and kind of tie them together like this. And... And then I found this K, which they're just sticky notes. And I thought it would be super cute if I could get a cute little ribbon and kind of tie them all together like that with the letter K and then stick them in her stocking. At my Dollar Tree, they only had a couple of those glues left. Obviously, they were a hot ticket. One thing that I am still looking for, um, because my daughter loves arts and crafts, um, Pretty and Flawed found these big like piggy bank things that the kids can paint and they actually came with I don't know if it was paint or markers or whatever and they're they're pretty big they're like um I don't know if they're ceramic or whatnot but I am definitely on the hunt for those because I think my daughter would love that another cute stocking stuffer that I found at the Dollar Tree and these are brand new I've never seen these before and they are called squishies with a z <laughs> And they're these little animal squishies. And I don't think, I think I got all three. I'm not 100% sure and the tag doesn't really show. Um, they were in a random box, so I don't know if the box shows how many different animals come. But I got the ones, you know, I, whichever ones I thought she'd enjoy. So I got the little sloth and they squish. Pretty slow rising too, you know. <laughs> That's right. I know the lingo, the squishy lingo. And then this little cute tiger. And this one is my favorite, you guys. It looks like a little cat. I don't know, but he's so cute. I contemplated buying two to keep one for myself because I'm a big kid. Um, oh, it's got like a little nub there. I could probably just cut that off, but so cute and you see the mouth all of them had the mouth kind of like a little bit to the side you could tell the paint was off because look that's probably why um they ended up at dollar tree in the first place all of them had the paint off center for the nose so i know the glare is pretty crazy so you might not be able to see that but the nose is painted in the wrong place so 
it doesn't matter all she's gonna do is squish it up anyway so I picked that one up I love his little tubby belly again buying stocking stuffers is really about buying cute things that you know that your kid is really gonna enjoy so that's what I'm all about then I found this little tin I just thought it was cute it's a unicorn they had a flamingo one um, I don't know if they had any more than that but the ones at my store was just this one and the flamingo one and then it's literally just a little tin that they can store things in so that was cute and then of course typical stuff for Christmas is always I just feel like a stocking is not complete without some kind of candy goods in the stockings so this is where Eddie comes in <laughs> Eddie loves candy so if I'm going to stuff his stocking I'm going to definitely put some candies in there and he absolutely loves these sour things from trolley so these are just Christmas trees I like that they have the two from so if you have a candy lover in your family or just any kid that loves candy you can just be a cute gift and then this one these are Kayla's favorite nerds so and they all have that two from there the holiday candies so that's really cute and then a starburst of course they with the little snowman the starburst box doesn't have the two from on there oh I'm lying in the back two from love that so candy is definitely always a go-to for stocking stuffing even if you don't if your kid doesn't really like toys or if you have an older teenage kid candy is always a go-to and I love to go to the Dollar Tree to pick up these cute festive boxes they also have a lot of other things like candy canes and different kinds of candy that you can stuff the stockings with like little Santa's and a lot of other cute things um, that I didn't think my family would enjoy. So I just stuck with these. But if your kids would get a kick out of a little, you know, chocolate snowman, for sure. They definitely have those. Any of these really could be used as stocking stuffers or gifts. I've seen a ton of YouTube videos on how they take the Dollar Tree fuzzy socks and turn them into, you know, an actual gift using other Dollar Tree products. So don't feel like anything that I'm showing you is just a stocking stuffer. You could definitely put a whole bunch of items together and make them a gift for someone, whether it's a family member or a friend. Um, and I think it would work Work out super cute either way that you use it so I found these cute Disney family feud games and we Dollar Tree always carries the regular stack the regular card deck of Family Feud um, and I did buy that last year I don't know what happened to it and we never even got a chance to play it and I have no idea what happened but I just I thought that the Disney Family Feud would be really cute to do with kids. So I grabbed two of those. I'm actually going to attach one of them to a gift that we got someone else. Um, so this is going to be super cute, I think, with any gift. Or again, you can just wrap this up with a pretty bow, attach it to something else, give it with some maybe some Disney books or some Disney coloring books or an activity set and you're set to go. That is such a cute gift and definitely seems like it could be worth way more than a dollar. Some Disney princess playing cards. Again, not for Kayla actually, for someone else, but I thought that, that would make a cute gift also. Um, attaching it to I'm gonna show you in a minute hold on so Dollar Tree has a ton of branded puzzles right now so I mean they had everything from Disney characters to Hatchimals superheroes and they were all like real brand like Marvel Avengers Marvel meaning they had just a whole bunch of like so it was a whole bunch of different superheroes and then they had Avengers they had the Incredibles they had trolls they had this um, they had Minnie Mouse which is cute is Minnie Mouse and um, Daisy Duck and then they had what are these guys called oh PJ mask puzzles and these save for five and up, but I'm pretty sure if, you know, you have no children that are a little bit younger, as long as their parents are sitting down doing the puzzles with them. And then I got the Paw Patrol and the Trolls one. Really cute, you guys. I think these could definitely go for way more than a dollar anywhere else. It, just because of the branding. I mean, you really, like... 
I mean, trolls. And these are all characters that you see on TV. The kids are going to get a kick out of them. You really don't have to spend a ton of money to please, especially little kids. I mean, little, little ones, as long as they see their favorite characters on something, I think they're still going to enjoy it. You do not have to break the bank for Christmas to bring joy to a child. Um, I think all of these gifts, I, I know for a fact that all of these gifts too, you know, if you have toy drives in your neighborhood, you know, in, in your community or um, anything, anything. I think these little things are things that can definitely bring a young child joy. A lot of times just being able to see their favorite character on something so simple like a puzzle can definitely, um, I think they would love it. So I picked up all of these puzzles along with those little Disney cards that I showed you and even maybe the Disney Family Feud game. You know, you can stack that up and you have yourself a really cute Christmas gift for any kid. And then of course, going along with that same subject matter, look at these cute coloring books. Again, Nickelodeon brand, $1 each and you have both of them I think are Paw Patrol. Yeah, both of them are Paw Patrol. I mean, what kid doesn't love Paw Patrol? You can easily take these and stack them up with this cute little puzzle. And I know that whatever kid gets this is going to absolutely love it. Definitely, Dollar Tree also has tons of crayons and markers and fun colored pencils. So you can add that to this and you got a $3 gift that a kid is gonna love. I mean, what's better than that? A $3 gift that is gonna bring a smile to any kid's face why not okay guys so if i'm not mistaken if one in one of my past dollar tree hauls i shared with you guys some of the kiss nail polishes that dollar tree was carrying and i mentioned that those were some of my favorite nail polishes i have crazy oily nails and i have a really difficult time keeping nail polish on my fingers just regular nail polish because by the end of the day it's coming off my nails the only nail polish that i have ever found to be um, strong enough and last on my nails are the Dollar Tree Kiss Gel nail polishes. And for the longest time, they only had the spring colors that I had picked up a while back. When I went this week to the Dollar Tree, they had an entirely new collection of Kiss Gel nail polishes. And I don't know if they came out just for the holidays. I don't know what it was, but they had a whole bunch of them. And I think they would make amazing gifts. So first I'm going to start off with the ones that are a lot more um, holiday that it definitely seems like they came out with these right before Christmas and New Year's on purpose. Um, there's this green shimmery color which I absolutely love. I hope that shimmer is coming out on camera. And then they had like this nude shimmer. And then of course a red. They had this shimmery gold color. And then they had a glitter, which I think is so pretty. And I really don't even think the camera is doing it justice, but these colors are super pretty. And then a silver, a shimmery silver. And then a silver glitter. So pretty. And then they had this deep, deep green. And this is not, there's no shimmer or anything in here. It's just a very deep green color. And then this really pretty shimmery blue. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love that. And then these next colors I'm going to show you, they're not really particularly holiday colors, um, but I picked them up anyway because I know that Kayla is going to love these colors. So I got this white, which I felt, oh my gosh, wow, that, let me, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back because that glare is going to kill you. There's <laughs> this white color, which I had never seen white before and I love white, especially in the summertime. So I had to grab that might keep that one for myself but Kayla and I share them anyway so it doesn't matter <laughs> I found this yellow one which was actually the last bright yellow that was left and I didn't realize it had like nail polish oh it came right off okay <laughs> um this yellow one 
super pretty a black which the black is actually going to be for me because kayla is not necessarily we don't we're not there yet with the black nail polish so um the black this pink one and then this deep purple this is not a kiss nail polish but i liked the shimmery glitter in this so i thought this was really pretty for the holidays and they were putting out this is the la colors color craze nail polishes they were it says with hardeners so i don't know what that means but they were putting out a bunch of new ones of these also and they were uh, there were a lot of festive colors just like the kiss ones there were golds and glitters and shimmers and there were a whole bunch of pretty colors so if your kid um loves nail polish and things like that definitely go check out the dollar tree for all of their new colors because they definitely have new collections coming out for sure so honestly you guys if you wanted to give these as a gift i think it would be so cute for a dollar each um the dollar tree has a lot of little nail art things they have nail art pens they have nail files and um, just all kinds of nail things. They have nail stickers. My Dollar Tree has the little nail beads So they have like little jewels and fun little cute designs little things that you can put on the nails If you wanted to set something up like that for your kid or for a friend It's a really really cute gift idea for under 10 bucks. You could do it as a secret Santa gift I know a lot of times places have secret Santa gifts and the cap is like 10 bucks per gift So you can put something like that together kind of like a spa treatment gift for someone or nail you know these colors are really really pretty and these nail polishes definitely they last a long time and they are so they are worth more than a dollar I will tell you I promise you that they are definitely worth a lot more than a dollar so I love them and then really quickly just before I end the video I just want to show you two more sets of bags that I picked up because of course if I go overboard on stocking stuffers it's always good to have little tiny bags like this um, because then I can fill these up and kind of line them up under the tree and they'll be her extra stocking stuffers. This is cute. This one says joy. This one has the little reindeer on it with the gifts. It says Merry Christmas. This one has the snowman face and they're just tiny little bags in case I need them to put some of these stocking stuffers in. I love that Dollar Tree carries them this small. And then I bought one more size up. These are cute with the sand and the penguins. And guys, a secret, I love these little penguins. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite Christmas decorations. Those little penguins, I love them. And then this that says ho, ho, ho. I love how shimmery. And guys, the shimmer, the metallic feeling is actually on both sides of the bag, which those of us knows Dollar Tree aficionados know that Dollar Tree doesn't usually do that on both sides of the bag. So that's really cute. Those are not the only bags that I got. If you guys haven't seen my other, my my Dollar Tree haul before this one, I picked up a ton of super cute Dollar Tree bags for Christmas. So be sure to check that video out. Also, if you guys want to see just some more things that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and some really, really cute gift bags that I grabbed as well. So that's it, you guys. This video is seems like it's going to be pretty long. But as promised, I wanted to make sure that I got you guys these stocking stuffer ideas as soon as I possibly could. And I'm so excited that I did. Let me know in the comments what other stocking stuffer gift ideas you have found at the Dollar Tree. I've been watching Dollar Tree videos and I know that there are so many cute things out there. And I obviously, I'm only showing you what I chose because I could have went in that Dollar Tree and racked up on all of the other things that they had. Because they definitely had a ton of cute stocking stuffer things. I only picked up what I knew that Kayla would enjoy and what I thought would be a good idea. So remember that this is just... This is just a small little piece of the Dollar Tree possibilities for the stocking stuffers and gifts. If you guys have any ideas, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, let me know what you've been picking up at the Dollar Tree as far as stocking stuffers and gifts and things like that go. And that's it, you guys. That's all that I have for you today in today's Vlogmas video. As always, you guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree as much as we do. And if you are super excited for the holidays like we are because, ugh, I just love Christmas so much. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. We love you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.